Hello and welcome to class. Today we'll be looking at bearings and distances. And we have an interesting question on the board to help us explain this topic. P2B starts a 300 kilometers flight from Oka on a bearing 23 degrees. He then flies 400 kilometers on a bearing 113 degrees to Asurok. What is the distance of Asurok to Oka? Now, with most bearing problems, you want to first sketch a diagram. We are going to sketch this diagram, represent this information in a diagram. So he starts a 300 kilometers flight from Oka. So Oka is his starting point. So we can just indicate here as Oka, and when you mark a point, you want to show the four cardinal points. Okay? With the not being the most important, right? So this is Oka here. Is Oka. Let me represent that with A. Now he takes this flight on a bearing 23 degrees. So we have to show 23 degrees from... He's going 23 degrees from Oka now, when you are measuring angle in bearing, you start from the knot. So, 23 degrees from the knot. Your measurement or your diagram, your sketch, since it's a rough hand sketch, it doesn't have to be exactly correct, but it should be close to the information you are given. So, this is 23 degrees. 23 degrees all right and then this flight is 300 kilometers 300 kilometers now he gets to a point and then takes a turn he then flies 400 kilometers on a bearing 113 degrees to Asurok. so he gets to this point we are not told what this point is but let me also indicate the four cardinal points he gets to this point. Let me call this point point B. Okay. On a bearing 113. So he goes 113. Now this is the north side of B. This is the east side. And you know the north to the east make 90 degrees. Right? So this is 90 degrees. But he goes 113. So what do you add to 90 to get 113? You add 23 so extra 23 degrees so this will be around here right so this is 23 degrees and you know this 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 will be 23 as well because is alternate angle right so this is 23 degrees as well all right now this is 300 kilometers this is 400 kilometers and Looking at it, I think something like this should be good. So he gets to Asurok. So here is Asurok. Let me name that as AR. Okay? And this is 400 kilometers. So we want to know what is the distance of Asurok to Oka. So we want to calculate this distance. We want to calculate this distance. Okay, not exactly straight, but you get what I mean. Okay, so we want to calculate this distance now. Now, to get this distance, let's know what kind of triangle we, we have formed. This is 23 degrees. What is this angle here? You know, from the east, the east and the south make 90 degrees, right? But we already have a portion that is 23 degrees. So what is left? out of 90 it will be 90 minus 23 which is 67 so this is 67 and this is 23 and when you add that up what do you get you get 90 so this angle here of this triangle is 90 degrees and you know a triangle that has one of its angle to be 90 degrees is a right angle triangle so we have something like this 
we have something like this. Okay, and this here is a right angled triangle. This is the 90 degrees. And this here is 300 kilometers. Here is 400 kilometers. And we want to find this distance here. So when you have a right angled triangle, you know two sides of that right angled triangle. How do you get the third side? Use Pythagoras theorem. That's correct. So x squared, which is the hypotenuse, you know the 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 side that is opposite the ninety degrees is the hypotenuse. Would be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So it would be equal to three hundred squared plus four hundred squared. I'm leaving out the units for now. So x squared will be equal to 300 squared is what? 9, then 4 zeros, right? Then 400 squared will be 16, then 4 zeros. All right. So 90,000 plus 160,000. That will be 250,000, right? Good. Now... To get x squared, to get x, you have to find the square root of both sides. Square root of both sides. This here is x. Now, square root of both sides. So, since we have four zeros, and then we have 25, square root of 25 is 5. Then, these four zeros, you just pick one just pick a pair right just pick a pair since we have two pairs so we have x to be 500 kilometers being the distance of asurok to oka right i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it share it so more people can see this thank you